but you can't give up. I always tell people that you just, you just have to try. Mirabel, delivery. I gave you the special since you're the only Madrigal kid with no gift. I call it the not special special since uh, you have no gift. Uh, thanks. Hey, Me Too fam. We are chatting today with the one and only Jermaine Franco. She is an award-winning composer, and she also scored everyone's favorite movie in the world, Encanto. So hello. <laughs> Hello, it's so nice to meet you, Laura. Oh, it's so nice to meet you as well. I have a million questions that I could honestly ask you, um, but I would love to start at the beginning of this Encanto story. So I'd love if you could tell us the story of how you found out that you would be the one to score Encanto. Do you remember where you were, how you felt, how it happened? Yes, I was in my studio and I received a call from the president of music, Disney music, Tom McDougall, whom I worked with on Coco. And he asked me if I was interested and he invited me to join the project. I didn't tell anyone. <laughs> I oh kept my. it quiet because I wanted to make sure it was happening. Yeah. yeah. And it did, it, here we are talking about, it. it's been an amazing project, super, super like creative on every level, just so much support from Disney. And believe me, working with Lynn was so exciting because he's such a great songwriter. Oh my gosh, I mean, amazing. And by the way, congratulations on your Oscar nomination. No big deal, like super chill. <laughs> Amazing, like really congrats. Um, we're all so happy for you. Um, and you know, with that being said, you are like the first of many and, and a trailblazer of your own kind. You're the first woman to score a Disney animated feature film, the first Latina to join like the music branch of the Academy. Um, so, you know, I'm sure there are so many who look up to you. Um, and I'd love to hear, you know, what is a piece of advice that you can offer Latinas who are trying to pave their own way? I think the first thing is um, self-care. While you're busy doing all of those things you're doing to get on your path is make sure you exercise, eat well, take care of yourself because sometimes we get so caught up. And the other is surround yourself with a community that's gonna uplift you by like join different organizations. I, like I belong to Sundance Institute, you know, women in film, women in media. Go to those, those groups that whatever it is that you're seeking that can help you and help you network so be open to options and maybe you might have a job for like a couple a year or two while you're doing your writing in the morning or your painting or you know you have to sustain your have your income but you always keep your you know developing new work whatever that is you know if you're in finance you're out there learning the latest software you know keep educating yourself because um there sometimes it doesn't seem like you're making progress but you actually are because you're you're kind of um, kind of cultivating your work and maybe the whole world doesn't know it yet but you can't give up i always tell people that you just you just have to try absolutely yeah i i love everything that you just said and i totally agree i think that you learn something new every day you're never going to stop growing so thank you so much for sharing that advice i know it's going to resonate with a lot of you know the people in our me too community so thank you jermaine so much for for taking the time to chat with us today and um i mean we're all rooting for you over here at me too so thank you thank you so much Thank you, Me Too, and all the listeners who've made this album, you know, number one, the movie, just going, having such a great life, and the people who are dancing and singing, we just really appreciate it. Thank you very much, Laura. Thank you, Jermaine. Gift or no gift, I am just as special as the rest of my family. Who wants more pain? All right, guys, where do I drop the wagon? Maybe your gift is being in denial. <sighs>